the peace. An empirical scientific research about the necessity of the work of the Creator. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lay down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And it shall come to pass on that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people who shall be left from Ashur and from Egypt, from Patras, from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamat, from the islands of the sea, from Isaiah. Rabbi Shimon ben Halafta said, the Lord did not find a vessel to hold the blessing for Israel, but peace. As it was said, the Lord will give strength to his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. That's from Masechet Oktsin. Continue. Yes, these are definitions that Baal Sulam wanted to give to us. And now, now he's going to say some things from himself. After having demonstrated in previous articles the general form of his work, whose essence is nothing more and nothing less than the love of others, practically determined as bestow upon others, meaning that actual manifestation of love of others is bestowal of goodness upon others. Love of others should therefore be determined as bestowal upon others which is best suited for its content, aiming to ensure that we do not forget the intention. Now that we know for certain the conduct of his work, there still remains to inquire whether we accept this work on faith alone, without any scientific empirical basis, or do we ha also have an empirical basis for this? This is what I want to prove in the essay before us. But first, I must thoroughly prove the subject itself, meaning who it is who accepts our work. But I am not an enthusiast of formative philosophy since I dislike theoretically based studies. And it is well known that most of my contemporaries agree with me. For we are too familiar with such foundations which are rickety foundations. And when the foundation fluctuates, the whole building tumbles. Therefore, I have come here to speak only through critique of empirical reason, beginning from the simple recognition no one disagrees with through proving analytically until we come to the determine the uppermost topic and will be tested synthetically how his work is confirmed and reaffirmed by simple recognition from the practical aspect. What does he want to say? He wants to say this. This is the peace article. He says, I want to prove to you that there's nothing better than peace. That peace should be the goal of our development, of human development. Human society, an individual, human, doesn't matter. All of life should advance towards this concept called peace. And peace means the completion between all the elements of creation, still vegetative, animate, and speaking, and between all of them. So all complete all. In other words, he wants to say this, we need to get, go back to the same sphere, let's say, that existed in the beginning of creation. 
that where all of desire was a sing well all of creation was a single desire without any difference between the desires and so then separation was done why so that towards these desires that have this this separation they have the ability through gradual connection and searching for connection between them they can understand it and acknowledge it and attain the concept of peace that is the greatest level the created being can achieve because by that he attains the the singularity of the creator and that's what he's trying to prove to us in this article that's it